In this video, we are going to take a look at Turing Vision's Live View Player, Viewing Controls, and Custom Views. First, select Cameras. You will now be brought to your Turing Vision Video Management Player. The player sorts the cameras in three different sections. The first section is Sites, which arranges your cameras by location. The second is Bookmarks, which allows for easy creation of custom views. Lastly, is Recommended, which automatically arranges the top nine cameras with activity in the last 30 minutes onto your screen. Let's start with Sites. In Sites, you can expand down your site to show a full list of the cameras beneath that site as well as subsites if applicable. You may drag or double click the entire site to populate all cameras into the main view, maximum of 16 cameras per view. Multiple pages at the bottom will appear if there are more than 16 cameras for that site selected. Individual cameras may also be double clicked or dragged into the grid. Double clicking will add the camera to the view and automatically resize the grid based on the number of cameras you have added to your view. If you hover over a camera's view, at the top left of the view, you will be able to see if a camera is being streamed via the cloud or your local LAN. This is important as local LAN streaming is typically faster and less impactful on your network when viewing cameras. Now that some cameras are in view, let's review the controls at the bottom of the screen. Mute and unmute. Turn on and off the audio of a camera's microphone if applicable. Snapshot. Download an image of the selected camera in view. Record. Begin recording a video clip of the selected camera. Click record again to finish. The file will be automatically downloaded through your browser. HD toggle. This allows you to switch between standard and high definition. PTZ control. Share live view. You may share a camera's live view with another individual regardless if they have a Turing Vision account. This feature does not require any app or software installed on the recipient's device. When sharing a live view, enter your recipient's email or phone number. Multiple recipients are allowed. Then, select how long they will have access to the live stream. Next, choose if the shared stream will be video only or video and audio if applicable. Lastly, you may also include a message with the shared stream. Playback. View and download saved video. To learn more about this feature, please watch our how-to video on playback. Grid view. Click this to change your live view grid layout. Autoplay loop. When more cameras are available than are displayed on your view, the time between the auto-rotating views may be selected here. Full screen. On the right side of your grid, there is an arrow that opens your analytic event pane. In this pane, you are able to sort, search, and see related events to the camera you have selected in the grid. At the top, you can select between people, vehicle, and non-motor vehicle events. Here you can search events by faces and license plates if applicable. You can also filter the events by time if desired. Next, let's look at bookmarks. Bookmarks allow for creating custom views. Those custom views may be specifically for a single user or all within the organization who have access to those cameras. Below bookmarks is a search bar. If you have created many bookmarks, this will allow you to quickly locate the bookmark desired. Next is public and private. Bookmarks saved to public allow for other users with access to the system to also utilize that bookmarked view. Private is visible only for the user that created the bookmark. Let's create a new bookmark. When creating a bookmark, you may first name the bookmark and choose private or public. Then, simply click on each camera from the right side to start populating cameras into your new bookmarked view. You can also choose select all to bring in all cameras from a particular site or expand a site to see more cameras. At the top of this section, you can also sort which cameras appear for selection via site, camera type, and camera name. If you exceed 16 cameras, another page of cameras will be created. At the bottom right, you may also select different grid views based on your preferences. Once you have completed your bookmarked view, finish with Create. The last section is Recommended. This section will automatically show the top 9 cameras with activity. Along with each camera name, it shows which site that camera belongs to, how many analytic events have occurred in the last 30 minutes, as well as number of alerts. Thank you for joining Turing to learn more about the features and benefits of our Vision platform.